Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy, and today in this video we will talk about what is FEM, the finite element method, and how this method is, is connecting with the things that we have studied so far in this FEM course. Firstly, we will see what are the two main changes in this method with the previous ones. The first thing is the derivation of a unique shape function because uh, because in the FEM, there is a standard procedure for the extraction of the shape function. And there will be no random or abstract way for achieving the shape function. This is the main point uh, of the FEM. The second main point is to discretize the whole domain. Uh, actually, we are discretizing the domain into more than one elements because initially what we have seen in the weak or the strong form that we have a road and we are considering the whole domain from 0 to 1 that was the standard range 0 to 1 and we are considering this whole domain or the whole road as a single element but in the FEM we are actually discretizing the domain or whatever the object or the shape we have into many elements according to the shape according to the domain we have why we are discretizing the domain or the shape because of the complexity of the geometry. That is why we are needing FEM instead of the variational methods or the direct method, because FEM is very versatile when uh, dealing with complex geometries. And that is the reason why we are uh, dealing with the complex geometries in an easy way. We are discretizing the domain according to the shape we have. For example, we are dealing with a uh, this type of funnel, right? And we have to discretize the domain that is from 0 to 1, let's suppose. And that is the point that the first, this would be the first um, element and that would be the second element uh, on the broad level or on the rough level. So that is why we have to discretize, discretize the domain into more than one element according to the geometry, according to the... Um, complexity of the shape. Okay, these two points are the points that are different, that are unique in the finite element method, but there are some points that are also similar with the techniques that we have covered. The one-to-one -one correspondence of FEM with the direct method according to the steps of this method. As we know uh, that in the three videos of the direct method, we have covered the six main steps of the direct method. And these six steps are also a part of FEM. But what is the difference between these six steps and the, the FEM step? At the FEM step are on the element level and the difference will be only on the second step. I'm right. So let's recall the steps that we have discussed in the direct method. The very first method was discretization, uh, the domain, and that is the main point of the finite element method. The second point is approximating the element level equation in the direct method, and this is the point that is different in the finite element method, because in the finite element method, we are actually having the element equation for all the typical elements in the mesh. In the direct method, we were actually approximating an equation for whole of the domain or for whole of a thing. But in the finite element method, we are actually deriving the element level equation for all the typical elements. And we will be considering the function that is the dependent variable we have uh, like this function of ui and psi i from we will substituting these things um, in this stiffness matrix element level stiffness matrix because we're deriving the element level equation for all of the typical elements so that is why the stiffness matrix the vector dependent variable vector and the force vector for all the element will be different in that case and the rest of the steps are exactly same after deriving the element level stiffness matrix the equations we will have to assemble them. We have to implement the boundary conditions that we have. And then we will find the solution of the assembled equations. And in the last, we will be doing the post-processing of the results uh, for the computation of the gradient of the solution or uh, 
doing the gradient at a certain point. So these are, these are all the things that are the basics of the finite element method. In the next video, we will start with the steps uh, of the finite ele element method, and we will see how these steps are important in constructing an approximate solution for a differential equation. So this is for now. Looking for more such videos, then you can subscribe this channel not to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.